Today on Toy Shiz, it's alive. It's alive. It's alive. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today, we are totally checking out the brand new NECA Toys Universal Monsters series. This is based off the movie Frankenstein. So we're checking out the ultimate Frankenstein's monster, which is very cool. Good old Boris Karloff, right? I haven't really had a lot of Universal Monster stuff recently, which is nice to see NECA making uh, new action figures based on all of them. They've teased other characters upcoming as well. Here's everyone involved with the making of this figure, so thanks for that. And here's the barcode as well. These are starting to hit Walmart stores now, just in time for their Walmart Father's Day sort of event. Also includes The Boys and then also the Batman the Animated Series Grapnel Launcher that we also took a look at. These will hit Walmart stores first. They're first to market, and then they will go elsewhere probably around a month or two later. So stores like Target and such will have them as well. And in true NECA fashion, open it up, and you get to see a nice photo of the figure and the figure itself. So very cool. This one looks like it comes with a lot of different stuff, a lot of different head portraits. So I'm excited to check this guy out. So this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a monstrous cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Universal Monsters Frankenstein movie, Ultimate Frankenstein's Monster by NECA Toys. And of course, here's Frankenstein's monster taken all out of the packaging, and you do get a lot of great accessories for this first foray into the Universal Monster series by NECA. So that's actually pretty cool, and I think that everything really does make sense with him. First and foremost, you get this really cool chain accessory, obviously, from the movie. And basically what you do is just kind of pull the hands off, slip the chains over his wrist, and then reapply the hands. But short and simple, very nicely done. Nice wash to the chains so they look real. They're plastic, though. And then you have these amazing-looking head portraits. Little nuances, little faces that Boris Karloff made while having the monster makeup on. And NECA has beautifully recreated them. The paint... The style, this, the shading underneath the eyes is stellar. Every single one, every single head. The teeth, the way the tongue is positioned on this, the eyes. And the cool thing is, is as you move the heads around, you really achieve different looks for the character. It's a man of many faces, so to speak, huh? And then you get a couple different hands, more like, you know, his hands are out, kind of walking sort of deal. Or maybe he's saying, hi, hi. And you get the flower holding hand right there, so that works as well. Yeah, just the way the fingernails are painted, the way that it's just colored is very cool. More of a, whatever you want to call this kind of hand. Yeah, the fingers are all going every which way. And then you have another one of those outstretched hands as well. A couple flowers from that famous, famous scene, of course. Uh, oh, horrifying. Anyways... <laughs> One flower and a pair of flowers, and they're nicely done. Very simplistic, of course, but the real stellar shine right here is the monster himself. Boris Karloff brought to life action figure form in 2021, and it's just, it's a stellar looking action figure. Stellar beginning to the Universal Monsters, and I think that if you're a Universal Monsters fan, you should be very excited on what they will be bringing shortly. I think that they're going to knock it out of the park very simple figure, if you think about it, largely all black, but the monster pieces, all the different scarring, the hands, the fingernails, everything on the head is supremely detailed. The bolts on the neck, the little bits of flesh, blood, everything else that's sort of sticking out, the gash on the side of his face, it's just fantastic. And if you simply pull off the head, which works really well, you can see underneath there's you know some scarring that you would see in the movie, and I'll tell you right now, much like the, the the Thing McCready figure, the articulation seems to be going a lot more fluid with NECA toys. This one, I did not have to heat up whatsoever at all. All the joints are fantastic, and you get a nice range of movement out of the head, which will go up and down, left and right, and then also the neck will move as well. So you get two points of articulation, so you can spin the neck, ball joint there, Top of the neck, ball joint there. The arms, really nicely done as well. I love all the folds and creases all over his coat, his pants. 
into the elbows and whatnot. He will spin at the elbows, but he does have single jointed elbows as well. And like I said, didn't have to do much. Heat this guy up. Nothing like that. Just came right out of the box and worked nicely, which is great to see because when I talk about like turtles and stuff, yeah, that's <laughs> usually got to heat him up. He does have an ab crunch. It's not like a full on where he's going to keel over kind of thing. The jacket is glued, so you can't open it up. You can spin him at the waist. But once you kind of move it to the sides, you get a little bit more movement. He goes more back than forward, but nice semblance of an ab crunch we'll say in that sense you can do the splits you can kick them out you can do all that kind of stuff if you want to do that with frankenstein nice knees he will spin at the knee single jointed and again i like the shading and i like the look of the pants the boots they will kind of go up and down more so rock left and right so you get more movement side to side than up and down but really this is a great articulated Frankenstein's monster action figure. It's just gorgeous. For me, I think one of the main draws for this type of figure is the photography and just the fun photos that you can take. The sculpt really comes out so well. The paint, the look of this character, it's really gorgeous. Even with the chains. Tell me what you think when you get the chains in hand. Are they metal chains or are they plastic chains? I think the, the cuffs are plastic, but I think I might be wrong. I think the, the metal chains, or at least the semblance of a metal chain. But the best part is you can go real old-fashioned Frankenstein's monster right here. Arms outstretched, walking, doing all that crazy stuff that he do. In terms of recent NECA figures, I have noticed a change in how certain figures from NECA feel they're less brittle in that sense right i'm telling you more and more yeah you don't have to heat them up now i hope that that trend does continue because they're great figures and for the most part i do just keep them right on my shelf but on the off chance i want to move them around do something with them the last thing i want to do is have something snap or fall off and i'll be quite honest with you again from looking at the mccready figure and now to this frankenstein and having not to have to heat up anything and not really feeling like anything's going to break or fall off it's a really nice direction for and if that. you're looking for scale wise let's say with marvel legends of course he'll tower right over him with the ninja turtles in certain aspects yeah you could say archie turtles met the uh, frankenstein so they go together sort of deal but these really are horror movie monsters makeup effects everything and NECA translates that so well into action figure form it's just fantastic i can't even tell you also let's say with mcfarland toys spawn spawn versus frankenstein sure you could do that ghostbusters yeah that could happen all day that's really cool you know just make sure all frank's real right but true to the heart this is what really made me think of everything was the original kenner frankenstein's frankenstein's monster whatever you want to call him frankenstein right everybody knows him as that but just really cool to see after all these years to go from a simple outstretched arm look a toy to a realistic Boris Karloff right on your shelf. I really will say that this figure is a knockout through and through. Now, for someone like I talked about the Thing figure, I'm not the biggest fan. I don't know the intricacies of these movies and everything else. I do like my horror movie monsters, though, and I would say... As far as the accessories that he comes with, the extra head portraits and the hands, I'm happy with it. If they decide to do a black and white version, I probably will be less into that. I probably won't go crazy with this line, to be honest. I will get the mains. If they want to do Dracula, they want to do the Wolfman, they want to do the Mummy, all those kinds of things. Those are right up my alley. But as far as going crazy with the line, no, probably be more subdued just to getting the main characters. And I will be completely happy with that. Now, I say that now. But you never know, Neck always has got some wild stuff up their sleeves. In terms of the articulation, I think he meets your needs. And I think in terms of the paint, the look, capturing the feel for Boris Karloff's Frankenstein's monster, I think it's a home run. But I'm curious to know what you guys think about this figure. Have you picked him up and will you be grabbing? What are your thoughts? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Universal Monsters. And which Universal Monster would you like to see them do next? And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember when it comes to Universal Monsters, well, they're just, the monsters, they're just misunderstood. That's all it is. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Adios.